Hi, it's Queasy, and in today's video I just want to talk about the actual causes of depression. Now, a while back I was depressed, believe me, because every girl I liked either got pregnant or died or some stuff like that and it was just really depressing me because I really liked these girls and they were just dying of all this stuff and some of them were getting pregnant which means I can't be with them because if you're pregnant you have a kid and it's not mine I can't do that some guys do it but good luck to them anyway but then I realized some of the actual causes of depression obviously I came online looking for a cure for depression and it was horrible man you know depression does exist and a lot of people think it's the myth and blah 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 I used to think like that but then I realized it's a real thing now here are the actual causes of depression obviously so I'll just get straight into them and why I realized I was depressed the first cause of depression is chatting shit now let me tell you how chatting shit gives you depression if you're out there chatting shit about people all the time you know you're gonna be happy right and then you're gonna go home, be happy still. You're gonna talk to your friends, be happy. Then, a year later, a year, a whole year, that stuff is gonna start to catch up to you. It's like there's something in this planet, in the universe, that makes sure that if you do something bad, it lets you do it for such a long time until you actually get paid back. So that's what happened. So, so most of the times I felt depressed is when I did something bad. Like, I refused to shag this girl because she had small tits. Then a year later, I was so depressed, bro. Like, I was so depressed. So I thought what I was going through was because I refused to shag that poor girl with small tits. That's why I was actually suffering. All well, that time, I told some girl that I loved her, but really, I didn't. And I didn't mean it. I just said it for my benefit so I could have sex with her. And it was terrible. And then a year later, I felt so bad. So this stuff actually does catch up with you. Don't think you're out there dodging life being negative to people. It does come to you. So let's say... Uh, Let's say you do something bad to someone, yeah? Okay, let's say you're one of those girls, um, um, you tell some guy you're on an implant or you've got like, you've got all the stuff, your own pills and stuff, and and it's okay for him to, you know, smash you without protection or anything, so you, so you won't get pregnant, but really you're lying, and so you get pregnant and you keep the baby. Now, you would do that, you'll be happy, the guy will be happy, you probably all be happy, but there's something called guilt and there's also something that happens that thing that happens when something bad happens to you you find the reason why that thing's happened and you start thinking the reason why this something bad has happened to you is because you lied about something else so you think that the reason maybe your mom was run over by a train or thrown under the bus is cause you told that poor guy that you want pills and then you got pregnant and now he's suffering going all these jobs and stuff like that so Let's be careful the things we do beforehand and just make sure you do good things now so that you know it doesn't come back to you because that's what I real that's the actual reason for depression. I saw so many shit videos on YouTube about oh depression is there, so depression is when um oh you probably get depressed when you overthink. The reason why you're gonna overthink is because of all the bad things you did in the past, you're gonna try to find an explanation to why that something bad has happened to you. Which has been my issue. So when something bad ha used to happen when I was depressed, I would think, why is this happening? And then before I know it, I'm thinking, oh, because I did this bad thing to someone. You know what I mean? It's like karma. And you're putting karma on yourself. So you're judging yourself. Yeah? That's also the other reason for depression. So if you're probably depressed, it's because you constantly judging yourself, right? You blame yourself for everything. And if you blame yourself for everything, it's not your fault, all right? It's not your fault you have a small dick. If you have a small dick, it's not your fault. Don't, don't let a girl leave you and then tell you, oh, you have a small dick. I left you because you have a small dick. Then go home and cry. I have a small dick. <laughs> Why, God? Why did you give me a small dick? Okay, do not feel bad about it. It's not your fault. It's God's fault, probably, because he created you and he wanted to make your life miserable, that small midget dick. But you have to think positively, bro. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I have a big dick. Obviously, you have a small one, but you have to make yourself believe you have a big one so you can feel happy about yourself. That's It's all faking. Fake it till you make it. So fake it that you have a big one. Maybe one day you get lucky and you find a blind girl who can't see a little dick and maybe give you a shag. But at the end of the day, all that matters is you win, okay? So stop blaming yourself for stuff that happened that you can't control. It's alright it's alright to take responsibilities for stuff. So for instance, if you have small tits, it's alright to take responsibility of maybe fake tits. What is that what they're called? I forgot the name. Um, those fake tits, okay? That's your responsibility. But if you can't do that, then don't feel bad. Don't look at yourself in the tits and say, hmm. I might just well be a lesbian. Huh, I'm done with guys. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with being a lesbian, but you don't want to become lesbian because 
you believe you don't have tits because you might, you might become a lesbian and the girl that wants you wants girls with tits so see you've actually got into one flying pan to another and you didn't save yourself so be you know tell yourself you're amazing you're an amazing person with small tits you're an amazing person with that little midget dick of yours and exactly so you're amazing everyone's amazing i'm amazing with my gigantic massive or you know massive d and i'm proud of it okay so don't don't put yourself down okay do never put yourself down because that actually causes so much depression because see like i said before that you do something this time then it comes back a year after because you do something bad now then it comes haunt you a year after that's what happens if you put yourself down today it might not affect you tomorrow or the next day but it will still come back after because that's what you put into if you put yourself down now you're gonna actually be down a few months after because of what you did before wow you know what i mean that's exact that's the actual reason why people are so depressed because what we do now is not good to help us in the future another real cause of depression are relationships now i don't care if you're in a happy relationship or you know someone that pre tends to be in a happy relationship all right because people are so good at pretending man like do you ever know someone do you ever think you know someone then when you get to know them you realize they're not the person you thought you knew from the amount of times i've got that you know what i mean that's when i realize people pretend i could be pretending i'm probably an alien and i don't even exist how do you know you don't know exactly okay you don't even know me i don't even know you bro you know what i mean so we always try to think people are what they are so we compare ourselves to these people so you think that this person's better than you or you think that oh god oh jesus was better than me so i'm nothing you know what i mean you you weren't there when jesus was there okay obviously jesus is a random example but you weren't there okay people are always pretending okay so relationships are the main cause of depression an actual cause of depression because what happens is that you find someone you talk to them you think you know them and you want someone that's like you right that's perfect <laughs> hallelujah exactly so we've you've actually established someone that's exactly like you but really guess what they are doing pretending we are so good at pretending bro if you want to see people pretend go on social networks and then go meet them in real life then you're like you don't even have tits why do you have size f tits on social networks you know you meet a girl on social networks she's skinny as fuck you meet her in real person it's like hulk string hulk Holt's ugly twin man you're like what the fuck is going on because people are extremely good at pretending so don't just get yourself to believe in stuff just because you saw it so if you know someone in a happy relationship it's not as happy as they are don't let that motivate you into getting in a relationship okay being single is miserable but there's nothing worse than being played by someone else thinking they're something they're not because i've had it i've had my heart broken so many times this girl used to be exactly like me do you ever get with someone and you think they're exactly like you but then sometimes when you see them in pictures with other people they kind of like a different person you know what i mean and you like you, you feel like you don't understand them but then you're like oh it's fine it's fine it's fine i'm just being i'm just being too judgmental maybe she's a different maybe she's the same girl but then you realize that she's actually a completely different person when she's out there with other people this person that comes to repeat it was a pretend so do not get in relationships basically okay it will also benefit me because then there's just so many single girls to shag but really on a serious note they do cause depression a lot of girls that i know how was skinny and then they put weight on as soon as they go in relationships not because they want to eat and they're happy that's why they got fat now nah, you don't get fat you don't eat yourself you don't eat your life away to because you're happy you eat sometimes when you're miserable most of the times anyway well, unless if you live somewhere in Africa where people actually are starving, that's a different case. But here, or wherever in the world, um, most cases that you reason you people get fat and they're eating is because they're probably miserable. Like, fuck it, I'll just eat everything. I just become twins. I'll just become the Hulk's ugly twin. You know what I mean? So, and that's what happens to a lot of girls that I know that have been in relationships because you expect someone to be exactly like you, and then. So if you don't want to disappoint and you don't want to be depressed or exactly, so just avoid them until you find the right guy, okay? One day you'll find the right guy that will treat you so nice and love some massive black dick. 
uh, and he will be the best guy ever, okay? This, that guy who will help you, will save you from all the misery that you've been going through your entire life. He will be your Jesus Christ. He will be the Lord, your Savior, bro. That's the person you need in your life, okay? So, girls, just stay single until you find the right guy. That right guy could be right in front of you right now. Like, this guy, I mean, that guy could be anywhere. So, just watch out, obviously. So, those are actually the main causes of depression. Obviously, I hope I've helped someone. Because I know depression is, a, is, a, is real. It's, um, it's one of those things, it's real. It, it is real. It's just as real as tits, you know what I mean? It's so real. Like, you feel it, but you can't tell someone that, oh, I'm feeling depressed. Because, you know when you get depressed for a short time, yeah? And then you come out of it. And then you get back into it. But once you come out of it, it's like you don't understand what was going on. And like, what, what, what? How could something so small make me feel so miserable? You know what I mean? Because oh, depression, man, is something else. You know, like, it's like when you touch tits, like you touch a girl's tits. It's hard to explain to someone how they felt. Like, I touched my boy's girl's tits and I couldn't explain to him how I touched his girl's tits and how it felt to me because it's all a different experience. That's the thing. So I can't explain to you how depression is, but the things I've actually mentioned, if you're listening, they actually do cause depression. And they are some of the things that have caused me depression in my life. Obviously not the small dick person. I love girls. Vaginas, man. Um, sorry, I don't know why I said that. I love tits, okay? It's rude to say vagina. I need to learn. Maybe I'm going to be depressed a year from now because I am said vagina. Maybe. Oh yeah, so obviously don't judge yourself, man. Be happy. Smile. It's alright to be happy. Okay? It's alright to be happy. It's your, just a, your, your find the way you are. You do not have to worry about anything. Well, I feel so nice. I've actually been nice for once in my life. Because I know depression is not good. It's bad mojo. Bad shit. I would never wish depression on anyone. Maybe to that guy that started slavery and maybe maybe I would wish um, maybe I would wish a bit of depression to my ex. Because she's the, probably the reason why I was in, I was depressed for a long time. So, But other than that, I would never wish it on anyone. And yeah, that was it from today's video. Peace. I hope you're happy.